Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Ken, this is video number four in the series. Um, today I wanna to talk about, uh, we've been talking about you know how to address things internally, starting on the inside before we can make any change out in the physical world. And so I wanna just kinda of leapfrog off that and move forward with um, going out into the world and how we expand into our change into the world physically. So in order to do that, we have to understand the concept of right action and the key word in that being right, okay? What is a right? Um, the best definition I've heard for a right uh, is that what, which isn't wrong, okay? And I know that's probably sounds like a little um, bit of a dodge, but that's not it. I want you to think about it. So um, if I were to list all of the rights that you have as a human being, it would be endless because we are constantly imagining new expressions of ourselves and putting them into the world. And we are entitled to those expressions as long as it meets certain criteria. So the best criteria for determining what is a right, again, is that which is not wrong. And so how do you determine what, what is wrong? You are, anything that is wrong is something that takes something from someone by force or by fraud, okay? So anything that does not take something from someone by force or by fraud is your right to do, all right? So think about that. Um, any of the laws that we have on the books right now regarding uh, morality, like uh, murder, rape, theft, all of these things that, um, that are obviously not a right and not right action, well, what makes them not right? And the fact is that it, they take something from someone by force or by fraud. In, in, in the case of murder, you're obviously taking somebody's life by force, okay? In the, in the case of theft, um, it might be done forcefully or it might be done through coercion, okay? through fraud um, and you can really go down the list of any of these behaviors that you can think of all right just because something is a law however doesn't mean that the action that violates that law is necessarily a violation of someone's rights okay um, is there a you know take for instance jaywalking all right are you taking anything from anyone by force or by fraud if you cross the street when a light is not uh, the right color Obviously not. You're not, right? So that is a man-made law that is not in, um, in alignment with natural law. Okay, and natural law we'll get into kind of more down the road because I think it's fundamental to understand natural law. But right now I just want to focus on what the concept of a right is. Okay, and a right being anything, any action that does not take anything from somebody else by force or by fraud. Fundamental to this concept is property rights, all right? And I think, you know, as society, we've kind of lost the, this understanding that um, our most fundamental property is our body, okay? We come into this world sole owners of our own body, of our own being, and no matter what words are on a piece of paper, nobody can take that away from us. Now, we can surrender that in, in theory, right? We can submit to somebody else and grant them authority over us, but it's not real. You know, at any moment, that's only, it's only held up by the pretense of, of them having authority. Um, you know, and this gets into the concept of, of, of government and democracy and all that stuff. I mean, democracy essentially being mob rule, but, you know, and how, and how that, there's not even a right, we don't even have a right to have a government structure the way that we have. Because what we've done is we've, we've taken a group of people and we said, we give to these group of people rights that we don't have individually, right? Uh, so, for example, I don't have the right to point a gun to my neighbor's head and ask him to pay for my food or my shelter, okay? That's theft. That's clearly what that would be, all right? But somehow, just because we've got a group of people together and we've given them the name government, we think that they can point the gun at somebody and demand that they uh, clothe, feed, and shelter us, right? It doesn't work like that. Those group of people that we call government are just individuals, okay? These people over here that are voting for the action of that government are just individuals, and not any single one of them has greater authority over anybody else um, in reality, right? Now, again, we can live in delusions and illusions, and quite often we do, and the whole concept of government is one of the greatest ones that we have. Um, but really, we need to, when it comes to thinking about right action in the world, we need to come down to fundamental rights, okay? And... The, the first and foremost being that we have the right to our property and our, our greatest property is our own being, is our own body. 
So I want you to keep in mind, just think about this idea of, of not taking anything from somebody else by force or by fraud. Okay, and if it falls outside of that category, it is your right to do no matter who says it's not. All right? Now, we can enter into voluntary uh, arrangements and agreements with other people and uphold those things as long as we understand that a violation of those agreements are not a violation of our own rights, they're simply a violation of an agreement. Okay? Now, if that violation happens to include a violation of somebody's property rights, now we're getting back down to fundamental rights issues. Okay? Um, but if not, you know, if it's just something arbitrary that we have an agreement on, then, you know, then we're not talking about a violation of rights, we're talking about a violation of, of something else. So, one other aspect I want to say about, about our behavior in the physical world and, and interacting with others, because really, like I said, I want to start this from inside and just kind of scale out, all right? And uh, so, the concept of the non-aggression principle. And this ties into what I just said about not acting, you know, not taking something from anybody else by force or by fraud. Um, doesn't mean that you don't have the right to defend yourself, right? Because anybody coming at you trying to take something to your property by force or by fraud is violating your rights. And so you have the right to protect yourself, okay? But you don't have the right to initiate violence or aggression against somebody else. And this is where we get the concept of the non-aggression principle. Again, you can do whatever you want as long as you're not violating the rights of somebody else. Okay, so if somebody comes to violate your rights, you have the right to defend yourself because they're violating your right. However, you do not have the right to initiate force against them or initiate violence. And I think there's a distinction between force and violence that's necessary. Violence being an initiated force against somebody um, for the purpose of, of violating their rights and force being the necessary action required to uh, dispel any violence, subdue any, uh, any violence. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So two concepts to come out of this that, that I think are worth looking into is one is the non-aggression principle. You can just Google that, NAP. And then the other one is this idea of what is our rights as humans? What are our actual human rights? Not what you know the UN says are our human rights. Not what some group of bureaucrats in some other government say are, you know, these are the rights that we give to you. It's not privileges handed down from government. We are born into this physical world by the very nature of our being owners of our own bodies. Okay, and we need to understand that concept before we can really define what a right is. All right, so understand you own your body, nobody else can own your body. You can never actually surrender the ownership of that to somebody else, okay, you can pretend to do that, and we kind of do that with governments, but naturally you can never actually do that. So, what is a right? Anything that is not a wrong, what makes it wrong? Violating somebody, taking something from somebody else by force or by fraud. So I think if you keep those things in mind, and, and think about how our behaviors work, and think about what your behavior looks like in being expressed into the physical world, keep that in mind, and run it through that filter, and you'll see a lot of the laws that we have on the books are completely arbitrary and they don't they don't really fit in they're not protecting anybody's rights they're just you know doing favors for people and there are some laws on the books that are that are consistent with natural law consistent with what is a right so think about those think about how your behavior represents that that idea you know think about is there anything that you're doing in your life that is violating or is taking something from someone by force or by fraud you know are you accepting uh, government benefits, because that's taking something, you know, just because there's a third inter party intermediary between the person that's it's being taken from and the recipient doesn't mean that that's not a violation of the original person, person's rights. So keep this in mind, think about your behaviors, run them through that filter, and uh, let me know what you think. All right, if you like the video, please click like. I'd love to get this conversation out to as many people as possible as this unfolds. Uh, yeah, and if you have any info, any, any input, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks.